Within the short period I have created YouTube content, I can say that I have met a number of very awesome persons who have totally impacted on my work and, you know, on a very personal level. And one of such persons would be Cecil's Diaries. And lately we've been talking so much about body modifications. I wanted to learn about scarifications. And the question is, what are scarifications? and why did Africans do them? It is a two-part series and the second part of this video you can only watch on the Scissors Diaries YouTube channel and I'm going to link up that video in the description. So do well to go check that out and learn about the different forms of scarifications coming out of different parts of Africa. And so if you're ready, let's dive right in. So a good friend of mine tells a story of a teacher they had when he was in a high school and they called him the Catman. Now this man was not called the Catman because he had any superpowers or because he was a superhero or because he had any semblance of a cat. No, they called him the Catman because he had scars on his face that looked like whiskers, right? And then they were so long they ran uh, from his chain all the way to his ears and every time they saw him they were like yeah that man absolutely has whiskers but what those kids did not realize and what a lot of young persons coming out of Africa do not realize today is that scarification played a very important role in the life of a person their family and the community from which they come and in this video I'm going to share with you some of the top reasons why people do scarifications and what they actually mean so back in the days, most Africans had scars that were inflicted purposefully for either of two reasons, for ritual purposes or for non-ritual purposes. And we're going to look at all of that. And yes, before this video ends, I'm going to show you where I have mine. Because believe it or not, I got it too. I'm not old school for nothing. <laughs> and for those of you in the comment section calling me young, I'm not. I'm an old African man. <laughs> All right, hello guys, and welcome back to the Seven YouTube channel. My name is Michael Okuman, I'm an African storyteller. Here, we are all about every kind of content that is African, and today let's talk about scarification. So, scarification is a process of inflicting scars on various parts of the body following uh, specific designs for a wide range of reasons that we shall be considering starting right now. And the first reason why people perform scarification would be beauty. Now, in a lot of African tribes, when a person has scars on their faces or on certain parts of their bodies, it was a sign of beauty. So I wouldn't judge if I were you because it's widely believed that beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder. And if the persons who create this body art believe them to be beautiful, then so they are. And before I even move on, I'd like to Debunk something I found to be very untrue because while I was preparing to make this video, I read a bunch of stuff that I found online and one reoccurring hypothesis was that Africans preferred scarifications because uh, their skins were too dark to take tattoos and that is absolutely not true. And how do I know that? My grandmother had a tattoo and she's one of the darkest human beings I've ever met. And yeah, we could see it. And so, I don't think Africans had a problem with applying tattoos on their bodies because if you know anything about body arts, especially in West Africa and in North Africa, you'd see all of these very beautiful uh, tattoos, you know, permanent, temporary, that ladies and men wear from time to time from various occasions, ranging from, you know, uh, hunting, going for wars, running errands, you know, for just staying at home, you know, just as part of uh, daily makeup for weddings and all of that. So Africans love tattoos and they've always had them. So maybe we didn't have tattoo parlors and we did not use the exact same techniques as could be found everywhere else. But did we have body arts? Yes. Did we have tattoos? Yes. Were scarifications an alternative to tattoos? Absolutely not. They did entirely different stuff which I would not be getting into in today's video. So besides beauty, 
Scarification could also be a rite of passage. So when people are getting certain age or certain social status, they were required to get some new scarification so that it's easy for people to quickly identify this person and recognize where they stand, who they are and you know what they're all about. So if you come from any of those tribes, when you hit a milestone, you get new scars. Alright, so let's move on. Uh, scarification can be performed as a sign of courage or show of strength. Yeah, so in some cultures, both among male and female folk scarifications were performed to show that, well, we can take the pain that you don't want to mess with us, you know, that kind of stuff. And so, typical warriors coming out of this tribe would have lots and lots and lots of scarifications across their chest and belly and backs. And you may not find that much scarification on other persons who were not exactly warriors. And so, moving on, let's talk about fertility. Women would wear scars on their bellies and on their breasts to show that they were willing to be mothers. And so, when a lady reached the age of marriage, she would be required to make that decision. If she wanted to go on, become a mother, have children, then uh, she goes on to wear the scars. And that's a way of letting the men know that, hey, I'm ready. Come on, let's do this. <laughs> Are we doing this or what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And I know this may not conform to what a lot of people want to think about Africa, you know, where women hide and do not speak and do not fight. And you know that is total rubbish, right? Uh, that's not Africa. So in a lot of African cultures, women could also do stuff that men could do at no consequence whatsoever. So it was all about choice. The same as it's all about choice for the woman to want to have children or choose not to want to have children. And next, let's talk about uh, family pride or national identity. So the facial scarification among the Yoruba people would be different from what you find among the Jukun or the House or the Tivo. I don't know. So as you travel from place to place, the type of scarification changes because then it means an entirely different thing to the people and they'll be doing it for maybe a very different reason. An example of some of the reasons why families or whole communities gave very similar face clarifications was so that if you ran into someone who didn't have a mark that looks like yours, it was a sign that you should tread with caution. And so you would know if you were to run or if you were to, you know, attack or something. But if you found persons who had the same clarifications as yourself, then that would be an indication that you're still among your folk and you have nothing to really worry about. So let's talk about some other types of scarifications that have ritualistic implications. Number one, protection from death. So when a child is born and the child is sick all the time, then there are chances they will get uh, scars on different parts of their bodies, preferably the face, and that is supposed to scare away the spirits of death. And in some other cultures where they believe in Obanje or Abuku or I don't know, it has different names from this place, but they are typically children who are born to die and get reborn. And when scarifications are put on the child, the colleagues from the spirit realm who always call it back would be unable to recognize the child. You know, so that's a story from a long time ago and one that I would not be interested in discussing further in this video. Maybe sometime in the future we may want to talk about that, but right now, scarifications is what we're talking about. And yes, that was protection from death. And in all other scenarios, scarification can become a mode of administration of spiritual energy. Yeah. So depending on the culture you come from, whether there were certain spiritual energies and parts that can be acquired through scarification. And the way it works is when they cut open the skin, then they go on and put in some of these materials that contain the essential ingredients that would make this person strong, powerful, you know, similar to what you saw in the Black Panther. When the Chala would consume that herb and it would become the Black Panther. But in this case, by rubbing in the materials into the lacerations on the skin, this person absorbs the power. And that exactly is the type of scarification that I got. So I have them right here at the back of my hands, but you'll probably not be able to see them because uh, the camera won't capture them. They are actually uh, very tiny uh, little strokes. And every time I lock my arms and release it, there is the surge of energy that destroys everything around me. Did you feel that? 
course I'm joking. <laughs> I don't have any superpowers. So there were stuff I got as a kid and I think some medicine was administered uh, through the scars I have on my palms and there you have it. So these are some of the reasons why Africans perform higher education. So the site is involved of administering some medication or some spiritual materials or energy and all that or protection from death. All of the other forms are really not ritual and there is not so much about them other than you know putting scars that people felt makes them look tough or help them look good and all of that. So it's often of different parts, not different from tattoos or piercings, only it is very permanent and they are totally irreversible. So are you African? Do you have any scars on your body? You want to share what was the experience like for you? Why did you get it? Uh, are there some reasons that I missed out in this video? Let us know in the comment section. Let's talk about it. And so, if you're regular on the channel, you probably know that I have a better time in the comment section than I do actually making these videos because then I can get to interface with a lot of you coming out of all these uh, very different cultures and faiths, and we can get to build uh, friendships. And you know, it's nice. That's where the community is. So right now, I'm here alone in the studio, just talking to my camera, but in the comment section, I get to actually talk to you. Okay, guys, hope you found that informative and hope you learned some real new stuff. So if you have any scars you'd want to share with us, where you come from, your tribe, your place of origin, do you have any forms of body modifications and why do you do it? So if we haven't already addressed the reasons why you put on body modifications let us know in the comment section what the reasons are for you and we can talk about them some more all right thank you for watching and if you're still not subscribed to the channel click on the subscribe button remember to turn on the notifications and that way you get to know every time we put out new content leave comments so that we can talk some more on these issues and know that you can make uh, video recommendations you know let us know what you want us to talk about next and we'll be very glad to work on that video just for you all right thank you for watching and go watch more videos on the channel that's how you help us grow bye bye